Hello, I'm Lou and welcome back to Open Up The Cloud. Today's video will be probably very brief. It's about attaching a custom domain to API Gateway using AWS SAM so that you can have a nice clean URL for your APIs and your serverless functions that you're using AWS SAM and API Gateway with. Okay, so let's say that you have a serverless API that's defined from AWS SAM. And that's what we had before. So I had this get function here and I also had this put function here. So they were both of type serverless function uh, as defined by AWS SAM. So let's say that you wanted to add that custom domain onto it so that your domain goes from something like this, which is the auto-generated API URL, which is just random string execute API US East, to a more clean domain like this one. So cmcloud 966. Uh, now the reason that I've got a domain like this is because I'm using the A-Cloud Guru sandbox and like I'm not using my actual account, but you can have whatever you want. You can have a really nice clean domain name there. So what you need to do in order to get that clean custom domain name is you need to then actually control your API gateway. Now AWS SAM is very clever. So under the hood, it's actually creating you an API gateway when you create an AWS serverless function. It's a very cool feature of AWS SAM. But what that means is implicitly when you make a Lambda function and then you define an event like this, where I say an event catch all type API and then get, what it's gonna do is actually gonna create that API gateway for you under the hood. So what we're going to do is actually be more explicit. So we're going to define our API gateway actually in our code, and then we're going to be able to attach that to our serverless function through this property over here. So here's our API gateway API, and our serverless API. And what we're saying is we want this API to apply for the stage name production, and we want to apply this domain name. So in my case, I've actually got a domain name parameter, and that's my subdomain. If I show you before, I have API dot. So I'm not just using the top level domain, I'm also using a subdomain. And what I'm doing is then joining my subdomain, which is API, to my actual top level domain. Then what I'm doing is also referencing my ACM certificate so that I can have HTTPS on my endpoint. And I'm linking also to the hosted zone ID for that particular domain record. Then just having this API gateway itself is not necessarily enough, as I said. So what you'll need to do is also reference that down in your serverless function if you want to tie those two together. So down here you've got this parameter REST API ID, uh, API Gateway API, which you can see here is also the name of the actual API Gateway resource that we created before. Now if you go ahead, that should work just fine. One other little small thing that I had to do is update my certificate as well. Reference the actual top level domain and reference the wildcard. And that's basically then going to allow you to then attach that uh, ACM certificate to your API Gateway and everything then it's just gonna work as you expect. And then you should have a nice clean API endpoint like that. And if you go into API Gateway, if you go under custom domains, you'll see your custom domain here and you can see which API Gateway that's attached to. Quite a simple one. All you need to do is add that API Gateway resource in there and just link up your serverless functions just to reference it. Make sure that your certificate and everything else is set up and that's pretty much it. You're running with API Gateway and AWS SAM. 